What's up? Welcome back to another video. And in this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the star rating widget in Elementor. And it's a very helpful widget, especially when you have an affiliate website, for example, where you want to promote products or services. So let me show you what I mean. Over here, you can see I have the homepage for my website inside of the Elementor editor. And over here, you see the elements tab. And below that, you can see all the elements that are available. And you can also search. And if you type in star, then you see this widget star rating popping up. So you can drag this into the canvas anywhere you want to. For example, you can place it over here or you can drag it to another place. Uh, for example, over here doesn't matter you can edit where you want to for this example i will edit below this uh, title widget now i want to show you how you can use this and how you can um, customize this so by default you can see that uh, the size of the stars is not very big but if you want to adjust it you can do it like this you can let me walk you through the options you have the rating skill it's from zero to five but you can also adjust this from zero to ten so now you have 10 stars instead of five. And over here you can enter the rating. So for example, if I want to make this a seven out of 10 stars, then you can just type in seven and then you will immediately see that the stars will change to the given number that you have added over here. So if it's eight, now it's eight stars or two like this, that way you can customize this widget exactly how you want it to be. I'll set it back to five stars now. You can also uh, do, for example, 3.5. Now you see it's 3.5 stars. So that's uh, how you can do that. Uh, you can select this option outline that it becomes like this. So that's more of a styling setting. I like it uh, better like this. You can even add a title if you want to. Let's say example, then you can add the title in front of it. I'll delete it. Now the stars are aligned to the left, but you can also align it to the center like this, or you can align it to the right. I'll align it to the center. And if I want to make it bigger, then I go to the style tab. And over here you have the size option. And just by dragging this, you can make the stars very big or very small. It's so small that you can even see them but you can choose a size. So for example, I'll set it to 30 like this. You can also um, adjust the spacing by dragging this over here like that. Set it back to the default settings. And over here you can also uh, go to the color option and there you can change the color for the stars. So for example, you can change them to red or to blue, doesn't matter. So if you want to customize this, that's also possible. I like it like this. And over here you have the, the advanced options as for uh, all the widgets that you have in Elementor. Uh, I won't go too much in detail uh, in uh, about this because for all the widgets it's basically the same. But if you want to add some margin or padding, let's say if you, if you want to add some extra space between this title widget and the stars, you can use the margin option, for example. You can click on this link value together option to change the values for the top, right, bottom, and left uh, of the widget individually. So for this example, I'll set the top margin to 30. And then you immediately can see that 30 pixels are added above the widget, more space between them. You can also do it for the bottom if you want to. In this case, it's not necessary, but just to show you how it works, like this. and yeah, that's basically what you want to know, what you need to know. If you want to make the color the color of the stars a little bit brighter, then you go to the style tab over here to color and you can go to the yellow and you can play around with it. What I usually do is I'll just uh, look at other websites that also have star ratings. I see uh, which uh, website has a nice color for the stars and then I use a color code picker. You have a an, um, an, uh, Google Chrome extension for it to see exactly what is the color code for the color that they have used. And then you can also type the color code in manually over here. 
So I hope that's a helpful tip. For now, I'll just uh, set it back like this. And um, yeah, that was basically everything you need to know about the star rating widget inside of Elementor. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If that's the case, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated on new videos that will be uploaded. If you have any questions or things that I can help you out with, make sure to let me know in the comments. So with that being said, I hope you have a nice day and I see you back again in the next video.